cha ilitoka ilitokana na Young Lunya. Alafu mwenye akaa yuko pembeni. Alafu akaa yuko pembeni. Ni kama aliingizwa, yani <laughs> alisifiwa sehemu ambapo uh, Rapture hakuamini kama disaster angeenda aka like. Mm. Kuonesha kwamba anakubaliana na kile ambacho kilizungumzwa pale. Mm. Kwa hiyo wakaparanganyana waka wale mabwana. Na Lunya alivona ile situation hakutaka kuongea kakaa kimya ila anasema katika huu wimbo sio mbaya unaweza kujiimbia koza usikiki ulizania barua uliyoituma nitaijibu hapo nikajua kuwa wewe fungu la kukosa na hauoni huoni aibu chagua moja ukae mbali sana au ukae karibu ili utoke nabidi ni wape ili utoke nabidi uh, ni wepi nafikiri ushapata majibu mm. sawa Uh, mm-hmm. Lunya alikuwa na address hivi vitu na kuna watu nilikuwa naangalia comments hapa wakawa na, wana, wanasema kwamba hizi hizi punch zimemlenga Rapture mm. pamoja na Young Lunya ambao wameonekana kwa muda na na nini na Young Killer na Young Killer ah, kila. okay mm-hmm. ambao inaonekana kwa muda kidogo wamekuwa kisigana na Young Lunya katika upande wa kuandika hizi hizi bars na vitu vingine kama hivyo na kila mtu anajaribu kujiegemeza katika boom bap mm. pindi linapokuja swala la ma freestyle makali kama haya kwa hiyo mimi naona raha kwa sababu wanahuisha wana utamaduni. Mm-hmm. Na yani hip hop waifi kiraisi rais. Vijana wanafanya culture na survive. Na hiyo ndo tunayoitaka na from what I know ni kwamba hichi ndo kitu ambacho tulikuwa tukikiamini kwenye hip hop. Yeah. Wanachanana hawaumizani like kupigana ngumi na nini lakini maneno yake tu yani ndo ile unasikia uh, mwizi kachambu mpaka kafariki. Sijui unanielewa ndiyo, bila ndiyo. kuguswa hiyo. Yeah. Sasa ndo hicho ambacho tunataka kukiona. By the way, Lunya mikono yangu yote miwili naiweka kwako. Uh, na kuelewa. Sawa. Na saa 15 zilizopita kupitia ukurasa wa Young Lunya. Mm. Pandisho lake ambalo lina zaidi ya watu walio like 1200 na 600. Okay. Young Lunya ameandika akasema hip hop haiwezi kufa na kuna rappers wakali kama wote Tanzania. Soon nitaleta nitaleta cipher uone vivya viv, uh, kaandika hivyo. Mm. Nadhani ni vifaa au vipya mm. whatever lakini kaandika vivya huenda ni neno linazalishwa hapa mm. vilivyopo hapa kwetu Swahili rap to the world tag rap unayemwaminia kutoka hapa home ni cheki kazi zake mm. sasa hivi ni mpeo nafasi kwa hiyo hii imekuja pia siku chache baada ya Fidq kuachia nani yake mm. uh, uh, freestyle yake ya uh, big man mm. ambao ndani kumekutanisha kume wakali wengi sana kina french like ah uh, mm. kina salmon swag uh, na wengine wengi no my Mhm. <laughs> Kwa hiyo Lunya pia anataka afanye kitu kama hiki. Which is good. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mimi mi, mi kwenye hilo siwezi ku, ku, kuongeza chochote na subiri. Tu unajua mimi ni yule mtu ambaye anasubiri kwanza vitoke. Alafu hapo ndo nianze kujudge. Yeah. Mhm. Sawa. Ebane, tupo na jitu la miraba nane na limetuletea watu wa miraba nane wengine. <laughs> jitu la miraba nane. Dark Sociali. Mzangu msogelea mic tusalimiane. It's been a long time brother. Nimekumii sana tu nani mzee? Ah, umetenga ndugu yao. Hamna master alikuja akasema hivyo lakini so nime, so sio hivyo. Yaani hapo kwenye meneja wangu anakuja yuko chini hapo na kuna sehemu inabidi niende. Mambo yamekuwa mengi mjini kaka. Tunaona, tunaona. Nye, yeah, mambo me... hey, asante kwa kuwa umesema tunaona. Asante sana kaka. Nime <laughs> nimeba, nimebanika kidogo ndugu huyo. Vipi lakini? Shwari. Tunaona kuna watu umekuja nao na na, na ni vyema uki, ukitupa taarifa ni kina nani tunawafahamu lakini wewe kwa sababu upo yeah. tuambie ni kina nani na ni nini ambacho nyinyi uh, mnafanya sasa hivi though najua ni artist mm-hmm. ni kina nani na nini mnafanya sasa hivi ah okay uh, nikuja na Rilvin um, Rilvin ni artist kama nakumbuka kuna ngoma tulifanya naye alifanya na Bill Nasi ile inaitwa Titi for Tati mm kinichukia ninachochukia titi for tati titi for tati so real vince sasa unafanya naye kazi sasa hivi na uko na DJ Hood pia un DJ kutoka Marekani na Nigeria mm. changanya kwa hiyo uh, pia kuna kuna dem pia anaitwa dada pia anafanya naye kazi pia dada hivyo hivyo tu yes Marekani i mean ni, ni german na ah. yes kwa sasa unafanya kazi kama manager au kama, ni, kama manager ni, ni, ni form, na form management as a label kama nilivyokuwa nafanya gazamani ah, ndo nimerudi nime tena yes ah. yeah. e bana mambo vipi wasogezi sasa mike nipige nao story brother mambo vipi poa poa brother poa nime, poa nimependa kuona mnigeria ambaye 
ana, ana amechanganyia na Marekani na ongea Kiswahili. Davido pia ipo kama wewe. Yaani wengi kule kwao nimezaliwa America au au ni ni wachache ambao mpo ila mnapiga kelele sana. Uh, I need to practice more Swahili, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My Swahili is kidogo kidogo. Ah, yeah. so, okay, okay. kidogo. So you so you don't understand me? No, 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 no. Okay. No. What I mean is that uh, I see a lot of artists from Nigeria uh, when you look at their bio, a lot of them is like they were born in 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 America, just like Davido. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys you you have uh, those two nationalities or, or what what is happening there in, in West Africa uh so nigeria for example mm. is a country where a lot of the people there like to explore outside the borders you know yeah, yeah. it's just like a natural thing mm. it's like you're born you just don't want to stay you just want to see how big the world is because you feel that the world is bigger than where you are born So naturally we are in America, we are in Europe. That's why Afrobeats the way it is now is so big mm. because of Nigeria. Because we are everywhere in the world and we are pushing celebrating our culture as Africans, the music. Somebody our friends that play hip hop we say yes, we like your music but come to our party. Mm. And they hear our song turn it up loud for them to hear it. Yeah. And then they love it. And then they tell more people, more people. That's why Afrobeat is big right right now. Okay. You know. So with the two citizenship thing, that's how it is. Nigerians when they go outside, we usually have like two citizenship. We like citizenship in the US or Europe somewhere okay. and then with Nigeria vice versa. I notice here in Tanzania you only have one citizenship. Okay. Why is that? Yeah. Uh, that's the question that's I wanted to ask you because in uh, Tanzania from what I know it is very hard to get another uh, nationality whatever to other countries especially if you want to go to Europe to America it mm. is very hard how is it come so easy for you guys to have two of them That's if it, that's for me it's like it's been like a something so normal okay. that I want to find out why for you guys it is very difficult if you if you want to go <laughs> no, there and have a nationality they uh, will ask you a lot of question why are you here what do you want to do here are you living here are you doing a work here it is a lot so sometimes i think people they're like let me let me just come and go mm-hmm. sometimes we need to, uh, like an invitation so that we can go there to stay maybe for three months or one month and to come back here it is very hard for us to get those uh, like i have friends uh, in there i was always asking them why is it so difficult i don't know why it and it is very difficult to get two of them i don't i don't know i mean i really don't know that's why i ask you right, right, right. so what, so what do you so, have, so, guys? so i think it has to do with the policies the government set up you know maybe so like the government of tanzania they set up their own policy maybe and that policy i think they need to change it yeah because maybe. there are a lot of tanzanians outside the country hmm. who want that freedom Yeah. to come back and forth and invest here you know mm-hmm. but if you limit them and say oh you can only just be one citizenship but it favors them to be both yeah you know so you in a way discourage them from investing in Tanzania you know well, yeah, come back and uh, invest in right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 ha- we hear you um, we have that that debate and it's been long time uh, our government and some people they they, they discuss about it mm. so i know it's a progress yes it's yes. a progress because when it's come to decision like that the whole co- the whole country we need to sit down and <coughs> come out with one one thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i know they they working on that okay let them work let them work let, let us continue with our afro music that's right and everything movement did, did you think uh did you see the video shows just like uh these some um, past few days in houston i thought it was friday mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it well me i'm from houston oh yeah 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 you're yeah. from houston i live in houston okay when i'm not in tanzania or nigeria i'm in houston okay so he was at a place called toyota center i mm-hmm. believe that's where he had the show mm. It's a very big uh, event place. Prior to now, it was only used for like playing basketball. Mm. But Afrobeat has become so big that it can fit the whole space. Yeah. 
you know, with people. You can pack the whole place with people because the whole world is listening to Afro beats right now. It's not rap. It's not hip hop. <coughs> Afro beats. Yeah. You know. Well, so, what do you th- uh, can, can you tell us about why Nigerian music right now is so success uh, more than any other part of, of Africa? If you see it. You can see the video, you can see Babana Boy, Wizkid, and others from Nigeria. They are doing some mega move, more than other acts from uh, African continent. Mm. What's the secret behind that? Well, I think from my understanding, Nigerians are just like born with like hunger, you know? <laughs> It's like Nigerians just come out of their mom and they are hungry. <laughs> okay. You know, like, it's not easy for... We don't, we don't get so comfortable so easy. Okay. We, like, want more. We want more. We want more. It's just, like, a natural thing. That's how I can explain it, mm. you know? And also, the population of the country is very educated. Okay. You know, you'll be surprised that uh, uh, one of the, 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 the biggest artists they can even think of it's like a college degree holder. Mm. You know? Sometimes even the guys on the street selling ice cream. Yeah. He went to university. Yeah. You know? So there's like a lot of education in the whole country. A lot of talent, you know? Mm. So, and then to mix that with Nigerians in the diaspora who are so proud to show their culture and we show that culture through music. You know, so that is the main reason that uh, Nigerian part of the music is more ahead mm. than everybody else. You know, people say Nigerians are loud. Yes, it's because we are loud. Mm. That's why our music is heard. You know, and we represent Africa. You yeah. know, yeah, of course. so that's the beauty about uh, about Nigerians. You know, mm. yes, sir. Okay, brother Vipim Zong. Ngama tumekuacha kidogo tunazungumza na mgeni sana usijua kaona hii vipi tena. Ah ndio ndio. Ukomzuka. Shwari kabisa. Umekaa kimya muda kidogo au kuna ngoma zilikuwa zinaenda lakini si ndio tukumbani nazo? Ah kuna ngoma nilikuwa nazitoa. Sibele mic. Na kuna ngoma nilikuwa nazitoa na times hapo bado ziko zinapigwa. Yeah, bo mimi napata support ya Tanzania FM sana tu ya ila kwa nyimbo yangu ambayo imeenda kwa ukubwa sana ndo kitu fatati ndio imeenda kwa ukubwa sana original yeah. na remix yeah yeah mimi na kwa nini unaongea kinyonge kinyonge hayuko ah. na kama wa maana amesema wa Nigeria wao wako very loud si unaelewa na ndio maana vitu vyao vinaenda i do believe ukiwa na vibe na vitu vyako vitaenda kivai. Bwana unaongea like ngoma yangu ina big. Yo guys, niwaambie ni tu mtaenda kuona kwenye YouTube channel yetu at Stands of MTZ. Okay. Kule mtatu follow na mtaona mta subscribe actually. Lakini mkiingia kwenye Instagram pia mtatuona na ambao wanatazama pia watamuona the guy ambaye ninazungumza naye sasa hivi. Mwili wake ni wa kwenda. I love you very low. What is wrong with you, bro? Nah, I guess I'm just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sawa. So, ngoma zako umesema zinapigwa yani umekaa kimya. Yeah. Yaani kitu gani yeah. ambacho kimesababisha mpaka ukaona sasa ngoja niongee na Daxo sasa. Yaani ngoja tulifanye hili liwe jambo. Ni nini unahisi kilikuwa kinakwama sana kwako? Ah, uh, naweza ngasema mipango tu na muda sahihi wa kufanya kazi. Yaani kwa sababu mnajua muziki apart from kutengeneza tu hivi mimi naamini sana sana muziki ni kufanya content ya kitofauti okay. sasa hivi kila mtu ana release muziki yani kwa wiki muziki natoka mingi sana mm. lakini wewe ukitoa muziki wako una ufanyaji wa tofauti yani watu wakiusikia wanasema kama huu ni muziki tofauti na ni muziki mkali pia kwa hicho pia ndio kile ambacho kinanisitresi sana na mshukuru Mungu kila ambacho naandika mboga na focus hapo. Hata nikitoa idea zangu zote zote za kitofauti ambazo sijawahi kufanyika. Okay. Nice. Kwa hiyo hii kazi inaitwa your body. Hii ina ina, ina usikana nini tulisikilize ile jili jambo hapo? Ah hii inahusika na na party hivi kama ku party mtoto mzuri unajua zile hata yani ime ime base kwenye agenda zote. Kwa hiyo kama una unaweza kucheza just show us 
unajua tuonyeshe jinsi ambavyo una shake badi yako nini kwa ni ku enjoy sana sana mm. yeah. ya piano ile au ni madude tu basi mandao ma, ma afro fusion mnaita ah ili pianganyikana tu ndani eh ili piano piano lenyewe lilivokuja bro da eh, yani sadax so ndo madude yake hayo piano ilikuja hii ilikuwa so plan ya sisi ku kuto yani nyimbo nyingine kabisa tulikuwa tuna plan eh sasa mimi ninakumbuka nilikuwa ninarudi nyumbani ndio ndo brother dax akaniambia bwana ah, ukienda nyumbani ondoka na ile beat tuta mm. tukafanya kitu hapo wewe lichukue tu eh hey, yani wewe <laughs> mmlisikilize kwanza sasa mimi niko tayari nimeshachoka ni ah brother dax tena jamani basi kesho basi mm. kwa kusikiliza tena hivi tulikuwa tushafanya nyimbo nyingine ambayo mm. ndo tulikuwa tumeplan ya kuitoa ndio ili nivyo sikiza ile beat nikalilewa sana yani nikachukua tu mic nikaanza kufollow hapo hapo ndo nyimbo ilipotokea nice kumbana na hapo kuko vitu ah eh msabato eh unakumbana na madude afu umependeza mwanangu ni hatari unaona hii tena nini tena hapa sheki wa badi sheki wa badi nzuri kazi nzuri mzee wangu na nimefurahishwa pia kwa maana naona tayari kuna video ndio ni kundi au nimefanya tu future kazi nimefanya tu future yeah kwa na tayari video ishatoka naiona hapa Yeah. Okay. My brother DJ Wood uh Wood of Life. Wood of Life. Wood of Life. Uh, tell us about your plan, yeah, your future plans, about your work and everything. Uh so the plan is really big okay. that even when I think about it I get af- I get afraid, you know? Okay. That's how big the plan is, you know? Why? Why you get afraid of uh, Because it's bigger than me. You know, it will ah. take a whole up. I need God. I need the right team. And God has been good so far. Okay. I've got Reelvin, I've got Daxo Charlie, mm. and we formed this Woody crew right now. It's called the Woody crew. Okay. You know? So this Woody crew, just a little summary. Mm. You know, we're going to be having a whole bunch of events. Okay? You know? We're going to have a whole bunch of entertainment um Daxo. Maybe you can tell them a little bit more actually. Um Daxo mtoeleze kuhusiana na mipango ya 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 matamasha na vitu vingine kama hivyo. Ni ni mikubwa kidogo. Ah. Yeye huyu jamaa ni DJ. Ipindishe, ipindishe na nini? Okay. Ah DJ Wood ni DJ. Okay. Alafu pia ni ni artist. Kwa hiyo pia atakuwa na show zake pia za kama DJ na show pia uh, baada ya kurilize hizo baadhi ya nyimbo zake sasa yeah, unaona yeah. kwa hiyo uh, japokuwa kai hapa atakuwa anakuja na kaka kama mwezi mmoja hivi anaondoka anakuja na kaka kaka anaondoka na ujue um, pia tayari ana, ana uraia pia hapa pia okay. uh, ana ile permit ya wa Tanzania yes yes kwa hiyo okay. huwa pia tuna, kuna kuna shughuli tunafanya kule Zanzibar pia mm. unaona hiyo kuna vitu vingi vinakuja kuna project nyingi zinakuja kama hivyo tuko na reveal pia yes nice okay we are, we are waiting on that my brother okay mm, we are waiting on those uh, those events and if that's what Charlie what has been explained to us can really happen that will be very very huge and big move i learn something inshallah it have to happen <laughs> inshallah <laughs> but why Tanzania Huh? Why Tanzania? Oh, Tanzania for me you'll be surprised how I discovered Tanzania. I uh-huh. came to DJ a wedding. Okay. I was in Texas and a friend of mine um knew a friend mm-hmm. that was getting married. So okay. they needed a DJ. Okay. So they contacted me to come DJ here in Zanzibar. Okay. So the wife was from Tanzania. So it was natural for them to come here to pay the dowry and all that. Mm. So that was how I discovered Tanzania. I went to Zanzibar for the first time. I was like, wow. Okay. Look at this beautiful beach. <laughs> and I love water. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, and normally when we see beautiful beach in the US, mm. we go to Florida. You know, that's where we have like the beautiful beach, Florida, Mexico. Mm. We never really get the exposure that Africa can have that blue water too, you know? Okay. So that was a shocker for me. I was like, oh no. 
and I see so much muzungu and wazungu everywhere. I was like, ah, this is home. This is home. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you if you get a chance, even uh, one minute or two minutes, if you get a chance to talk to um, people from Texas and all over the world, explain a little bit of t- I mean a little bit of about Tanzania because I have few friends uh, who who doesn't know really Tanzania and they are so surprised to see a lot of things, beautiful things in Tanzania. If you get a chance to tell them what did you learn. What do you see? What did you discover from Tanzania? What would you tell them? Uh, I'll just let them know that Tanzania is a beautiful country in East Africa. Uh, it is bordering uh, Kenya and uh, a few other countries. And the people here are warm. Yeah. They are so peaceful. And they're generous. They'll feed you even if you have no... <laughs> They, they'll feed you if you're full. Everything. They, they'll keep giving you food. <laughs> <laughs> Including ugali. Ugali, yamachoma, <laughs> everything, you know? Okay. So you should come uh, to visit and experience the love. There's a lot of love here. And there is God here as well, yeah. you know? DJ Msabato Mzangu, what is Tuamjini Basi to chat here for sale? And to Nenako DJ Msabato, thank you for your time, my brother. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, brother. Okay. Ebane, send us sana kwa muda wako mzangu. Sawa, kati tunalisikiliza tena your body DJ Msabatu naye anajiandaa kwa ajili ya watoto wa mjini hapa. Daxo, asante sana kakaangu. Asante sana pia. Haina noma mzangu. Chuma hii hapa.